how to stop your fragrances from fading. I, I've had this problem, I know other people have had this problem. You put on a nice fragrance, you really like it, you want to enjoy it, but as, pretty much as soon as you put it on, it starts fading. It just runs away, it disappears. So how do you stop that from happening? How do you make sure that your, your preferred fragrance for the day sticks around so that other people can actually smell it, so you can smell it? So there's a few things that you have to do and you have to avoid to make this a possibility. First thing, manage your expectations because some fragrances just don't last that long. For instance, a lot of Eau de Clone fragrances have very little small percentages of perfume oil, like 5% or less. Most of the rest of it is going to be alcohol and just kind of filler ingredients. So those naturally aren't going to last very long and you shouldn't expect them to last very long, uh, maybe a few hours, but that's in contrast to very strong concentrations like Eau de Parfum or Extra or, you know, just the really more powerful ones with maybe 20% uh, or more perfume oil. So manage your expectations depending on the type of perfume that you have. If you want something that's going to last naturally, just more easily for a longer period of time, go with the higher concentration and buy fragrances that have naturally heavier and longer lasting notes. Usually those are wood notes, musk, uh, spice notes, uh, leather, tobacco. The heavier notes will naturally last longer in comparison to light notes like florals, aldehydes, citrus, um, and things like that. So, you know, you're a little, a little bit disadvantaged if you prefer lighter fragrances like that because they're not naturally going to last as long. But besides that, that's just the foundation of this whole thing. Once you go beyond that, there are a few ways you could make any fragrance last longer and, you know, delay the fading process. So. My first recommendation, put your fragrance on right after you get out of the shower um, because after a nice warm shower or a warm bath, uh, your pores are going to be open and you put fragrance on, it gets into your pores and eventually your pores will shrink back down and kind of trap that fragrance into your skin. So it'll stay on longer because it's deeper into your skin. Uh, the thing is, I would not do this if you have sensitive or dry skin because since uh, perfume has such a high alcohol content, it could dry out your skin or irritate it. But if you have normal or even oily skin, you shouldn't have any issues with that. Number two, second big thing, put lotion on before you put any fragrance on. Putting lotion on gives your skin a really nice foundation, uh, kind of like a glue. And when you put your fragrance on top of that, the fragrance molecules wants to stick to that lotion, which of course is stuck to your skin, um, versus your skin, which is not as sticky as the lotion itself. So kind of like a spider web, the, the lotion is really gonna help the fragrance molecules latch on to your body. Then uh, another very important kind of thing you could do, spray your fragrance on your clothes. Um, all the clothes are made out of fibers, uh, and when you basically spray anything onto your clothes, the fibers are going to soak that up, you know? Of course, if you even spray water on your clothes, it's going to soak it right up. And that's a pretty good way to make sure your fragrance lasts as long as you want it to last. And you could also put it in your hair. I find that putting it on your clothes works better than in your hair. Um, but they both work. I would not put fragrance on your clothes if the fragrance has uh, a particular color. For instance, I'm wearing a white shirt. I wouldn't want to put, for instance, used to on my shirt because this is brown and it will stain my shirt. So uh, either put on, if the fragrance is colored or has any kind of uh, dye in it, if you're wearing a dark, dark clothing, it won't matter really. It's not gonna, you know, you won't be able to see it. Or if the fragrance is clear, of course you can put it on white clothes and it shouldn't do anything. But that's pretty much one thing you have to look out for. Um, I would also be wary of putting perfume on 
outerwear, for instance, a coat, a uh, heavy winter coat or something that you have to dry clean, a suit maybe, I would avoid putting fragrance directly on those because then, you know, it's hard to, if you don't like that scent once it settles into the fabric, you're gonna have to get that thing dry cleaned because you won't be able to get the scent out any other way. Um, but for regular clothing, a t-shirt, a, you know, any other piece of clothing, you probably won't have to worry about that. Now, another important tip, and I see a lot of people doing this. Uh, when you put fragrance on your wrists, don't do this. Don't become a cricket and start rubbing your wrists, because that's... A lot of people do that because they think that's going to express the fragrance. It's going to, you know, enhance it. Uh, while, for the moment, when you put it on and then you start rubbing, it you will smell the fragrance more intensely for the moment. However, after that initial uh, moment, that friction will actually destroy the fragrance itself and will actually make the fragrance last not quite as long as it should. So really the better way to avoid that problem is to just, you know, spray the fragrance and then leave it alone. Don't rub, don't do anything, just let it soak into your skin, it'll be fine. The other thing that a lot of people do, they spray into the air and walk through the cloud and they think, oh, it'll cover my entire body, you know, that's exactly what I want. But that's actually probably the least efficient way you could put on fragrance because A, you're losing a lot of the fragrance just to the objects around you. It's going to land on the floor, on the wall, on the countertop versus on your actual body. So you're actually wasting a lot of the fragrance. Number two, because you're wasting so much of that fragrance and very little is getting on you, it's not going to last very long. And also it's very superficial. You just have this very superficial layer that falls on top of you. The better way to, to, to just apply fragrance in general so that it'll last longer is put it on pulse points. And pulse points, uh, pretty much the main ones are, are on your neck. Um, you know, here and then the back of your neck, uh, and then of course your wrists. I would say the neck is probably the, just the most important region because when people approach you, they're, you're going to be face to face. They're not going to be down at your wrists, you know, smelling your fragrance. They're going to be smelling what's in this area. For that reason, a lot of people, especially men, also like to spray their shoulders. Um, because it's just, it's just, again, in this region where people will be, their noses are going to be here. Um, and then the back of the neck is good for leave uh, a scent trail when you're walking, walking away, you know, you'll leave your fragrance behind you. So those are the main, most important regions. I also like to do the wrists. They're not always necessary, but I like them because, you know, especially if you talk with your hands, you're going to get this nice gentle waft of whatever fragrance you're wearing. Some people also spray the backs of their knees, but I find that's not really necessary because again, people aren't at your knee level, you know, they're going to be up here. So, you know, it's up to you, but the most efficient way is up here. Also, your neck is usually very warm, so that's going to help express uh, the fragrance oils and make sure, you know, it, it lasts longer. Besides that, those are the main tricks and tips and, you know, methods of making sure your fragrance doesn't fade and it, it should last, you know, as long as that fragrance can possibly last. Um, hopefully all day. But that's pretty much all I have to say about um, that particular topic. If you have any questions or opinions uh, about perfume longevity, you can leave those down in the comment section below. If you like the video, leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.